500 and then go from there, we'll see. Divide gun. Got to get some. Got to get some blood on it. First African animal, it got a zebra, 240 yards, it was one shot and done. So the rifle worked great, I didn't have any problems there at all. Um, if anything, 240 yards is a chip shot with this. But this is nice zebra, um, not a mark on it, a really great coat. So, um, super successful first hunt here in Africa, I'm really happy. Pretty balls and bring that truck down here. Oh, dude. I think you shot right through that brush there. Sure. That was a tough shot, dude. Do you know, they, they don't stand still. Up and down and up and down. Well, that was a tough one, man. I couldn't tell which one, which one, and I just saw him, and I just had a little, just had a little peak. Well, that, was that was tougher than the zebra. <laughs> that was tough. The muzzle brake's going to be the death of me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have my ears on either. It got me, too. Thank you so much. Good guiding, bud. Yeah, on the shoulder. yeah right there. Yeah. Whack. Right where I wanted it. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Good job, bud. Yeah, that's right. All right, not even lunchtime yet. Got a nice Impala. Had to thread the needle through the bushes on this one. Ryan did a great job getting me on it. Um, this one was about a 120 yard shot, maybe. But perfect shot placement right through the shoulder and heart. You know, beautiful animal, nice mature ram. 
really great job. End of day one, got a zebra, an Apollo, and a Daka. Is that how you say it? And got a few shots at a heart at heart of beast. But uh, the weather was some lucky heart of beast. Took a couple shots at them, just a really, really bad wind. So missed out on that, and they were kind of long shots. But this is more action than I've probably had in, you know, a season of hunting back out west. So kind of spoiled. Another one down. Day two, we're in the Cowie. Beautiful day, looking for kudu. So, perfect weather, no wind. <laughs> forget about day two and we're going to get it done on a big kudu bull today. Dude, thank you so much for your help and your yeah, patience. Yeah, thank you, it. buddy. Well done, man. That was frustrating. It's been a frustrating last couple of days. Got it done. The curse. Got a nice Lechway bull. The curse of yesterday is finally broken. So a perfect shot at about 90 yards. Missed one a little earlier on him, and I think it's the shooting sticks are throwing me off a little bit, but we'll find out. But many thanks to my guide, Ryan, for having some patience with me. I think on the agenda today is either a hartebeest, 
um, a bush buck or a kudu, obviously. But we're going to stay here kind of close to camp and see how it goes. Pretty good. Did it? Yeah. Oh, Desmond. <laughs> hey, come on, just say something for the camera. <laughs> yeah. Say, say hi, Becky. That's my wife. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Thanks for your really hard work this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well done Dave, you've got a great sweet hearty beast here. Yeah? Um, after a few days of going hard at it for Kudi and uh, Red Hardy Beast, what was that, the first day? Yeah. They gave us a run around, took some long distance shots in the wind, um, didn't come right and then this morning we came out after checking the rifle and within what? 15, 20 minutes. 15 we, minutes, yeah, here he is. Right on the sticks so, and yeah. here he is. Yeah. Beautiful bull down. Yeah, after chasing him on Monday, today like seemed like almost too easy. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. I guess that's how it is sometimes. Yeah, they just seem to look more relaxed this morning for yeah. some reason. Yeah, and I think this one's probably the best animal I've gotten so far on this trip as far as, you know, representative of the species. Yeah, the beautiful. I think that's cool. probably the best one. Day four, another species down. What is it? 280 yards. 280 yards, yeah. Yeah, great shot. So yeah, went down like a sack of beans. Skittish little spring back. Very skittish. So yeah, well done. And uh, just so much game out here, I can't believe it. It's uh, I feel like I'm going home and leaving no crumbs. So it's been great. Yeah, I've been having quite yeah. a bit of fun. Yeah. And some hard work at times as well. Yeah, that's right. But it's coming together. It is. Some days you can just, I mean, you can work your butt off for a week and not find a, a good animal, and then other as we got this heart of beast, and it's probably the best animal I've nailed on this trip. Real beast, and all it was was like 15 minutes out of camp. So it was just, I mean, it's just some of it's just luck, but it's been an amazing hunt. Yeah, rolling. Here's the digs. It's pretty nice. I haven't used the bathtub. The electricity works great. The bed's comfortable. It stays pretty cool in the evening. Uh, no, it's much better than the tent camps I've had on elk hunts. challenging animal probably the most challenging one of this hunt we put a lot of time into it 
haven't gotten a shot or a good look at one yet. So hopefully today's the day. Just got to put in the work. He's done. <laughs> yes. Well done. Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey. Good job. That was a bit of excitement first time. Yeah. Really? You, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Well, my gun's empty, so don't want to worry about that. <laughs> Look at those nice white tips. Yes, One. One, two, three. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Nice white tips. Wide. That's a classic. Woo! Great shot. There. Hell yeah, yeah, thanks, bud. It's got a great raking shot that you yeah. build it. Whew. That's the pressure off. Yeah. Finally got it done on a kudu. This is probably taking up at least half of our hunt. So. We've been walking through spiders and walking up hills and driving rough roads and we finally got it done this morning. He was with a bunch of wildebeest and I was a little bit confused because I was all looking at the wildebeest. He finally was at the edge of a clearing, maybe about 150 yards mm. and uh, didn't really give me a good look. So we had to go with the Texas heart shot and it anchored him. And then I put two more in him and I definitely felt some buck fever on this one. This is definitely the uh, piece de resistance of the of the whole hunt and uh ryan did a great job guiding on this yeah well done thank Dad. you thank you buddy great hunting there you did a great exciting, job exciting. <laughs> you're in to a big thorn tree there. Oh, you hit him perfectly. Yeah, dead ass on him. I am a greedy, greedy man. Well <laughs> I was facing that way. Well, that's the exit, yeah. Yeah, because look at the way that's the swirl on the. So uh, got a nice fallow deer, 220 yards, nice perfect shot, tucked it in behind the uh, shoulder. The burger bullets work amazingly well, it's just been devastating anything. I wasn't devastating on everything. I was haven't been too keen on getting a fallow deer, but this one had a really nice color and a really nice uh, rack to him. And uh, I just couldn't pass him up. Just for the record, this is an entirely free range hunt, I'm not like, you know, I'm not. Sh this is not a, not some kind of zoo. We're getting it done, <laughs> legitimately. Yeah, well done, Dave. Thanks. Yeah, good yeah. guys shooting with the sticks again. Um, yeah, a unique species to get. There's not too many places in the world you can get fellow deer, free range fellow deer. Yeah. But yeah, good one. Good one to get. We had a good morning. Had a really good morning. Had a great couple of days. Had a great safari so far. I think I've got nine different species. It's been uh, we've been very efficient. I think today's the last day we're going to hunt. Uh, we're going to look for a bush buck. 
And tomorrow I'm going to play tourist. Maybe go see some giraffes and some bush art and such. Maybe get a baboon for my wife. The area is beautiful. It's kind of like it doesn't know whether it wants to be savanna or whether it wants to be jungle. It's kind of a blend. And some good hens, challenging yeah. hens. And yeah, as long as you enjoyed it. Yeah, had a great time.